Hey guys, in the upcoming interview, you're going to learn more about a new free virtual conference for world language teachers who want to learn more about proficiency-centered methods. I'm psyched to share with you this conference and I want you to register. Even if you don't have time to watch this interview, I want you to use the link in the description. Register for the conference. It's January 8th through 10th, 2021. And I'm doing a session on gamifying world language classroom and getting your kids to actually talk while teaching remotely. So uh, yeah, you'll see me there if you register at link below. Enjoy the interview. Here we've got Devin Gunning. Hello. Hi, that's me. And she has been, guys, she has been working so hard to put together the most amazing free resource for world language teachers who are just trying to get by in a pandemic. And I cannot wait to tell you more about and to let her tell you more about what she's got in store. So what we are working on right now, and I say we because it's very much a collaborative project because I would not be able to pull off this bad boy by myself, but I found all my favorite people, including Maria, who is a fabulous featured speaker, to bring to you the best ideas that are working for them in their real classrooms to make all of those very large goals actually happen and actually be doable. Because I don't know about you, but I'm a conference junkie. Always have been, always will be. And when you are a very passionate teacher who loves what you do and you want to show your students how much you love them by how high quality your classroom is, you can get overloaded with really great ideas, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna work for what you're doing for your classroom or that it's gonna take you less than 30 minutes. So what I found a lot with learning, especially in the professional development space is that I would, oh, especially when learning about comprehensible input rich methods is that you would sit there for the whole beautiful presentation and take all these great notes and like where would those notes end up like on your super scary desktop no I find myself at least like shooting on myself when I'm at the conference like oh there's an idea oh I really should do more of that and oh this is a really cool idea I should do more of that mm -hmm. but I find that there's a disconnect between the ideals and the amazing ideas that incredible speakers present and my next Monday morning. And what I right. love, Devin, about what you're doing is you're helping kind of bridge that gap in a way that is completely free to teachers, totally safe because it's all virtual during this time and uh, incredibly timely. I don't want you to come to this conference because you think you need to better be a better teacher for your students. You already are, you're already amazing. What you need is a solution that's gonna make your life as a teacher feel doable and feel joyful again, because there's a lot, a lot of stress right now in the teacher community that is very much well deserved. It's really hard. It's really hard to be a teacher right now. And this conference is to help make that easier easier for you and for you to get access to the stuff that I think that you really need to hear. And it's going to start with why proficiency is important, why you should focus on it and how you can get the ball rolling, how you can get started or how you can tweak that if you're already in the trenches with it. The second day is going to be focused on those ideas in action what that really looks like. And when you start really getting into the thick of things, what some specific strategies are that maybe you've heard of, or maybe are specific to certain teachers, how you can make that happen. The third day is going to be real lesson plan walkthroughs, planning strategies and assessments, like the meat of how you're gonna actually make this happen on Monday. And it's intentionally on Sunday, right before you go back to school on Monday so that you can have all of these things ready to go to be like, okay, this is how I'm going to finally figure out how to do speaking quizzes without all of my kids cheating. Like that was my number one thing was like, how am I going to do that? And so we're going to learn all about that on Sunday so that you can find a solution for that on Monday, how to build relationships and how to tweak your assessments so that they're more equitable, all those things. So I'm sure that you guys are kind of curious about the structure of a virtual conference like this one. And I think the way that Devin set it up is very easy to understand, but it's also kind of um, like flexible because um, there are ways that there are different ways that you can access this content depending on your situation. Devin, can you kind of walk us through that? Yeah. So this conference is you can enjoy.
enjoy it in three ways. The first way is you can enjoy it completely for free and share it with all of your friends. The, that way, what you're going to get is when you get your free ticket, you're going to get seven presentations on a day that are free for you to access on January 8th or January 9th or January 10th. So like get all settled with your gym jams and your hot cocoa and whatever else you're enjoying with it. We don't judge, live your life. It's your weekend and <laughs> enjoy your PD in your gym. Sorry, I'm, I'm very off the cuff. And enjoy awesome. your PD <laughs> in your jammies. I know I certainly will be and relax, but you'll, you'll have seven presentations that you can watch during that day with all kinds of goodies with it too. Like everything in the presentations is ready for you to use the next day. The other way that you can enjoy the conference is that if you are like, I'm completely down for that, but I can't do seven presentations in a day. I certainly cannot. You can enjoy the conference for free if you like, but the way that I recommend that you do it is for $27 for the early bird pricing, you can get an all access pass, which means that you get lifetime access to all the presentations so you can watch them at your leisure when it works for you. There's another way that you can access the conference, which is like the wham, bam, thank you, ma'am package, which is all of the bonuses. And that is the early bird pricing of 59, but honestly it's worth $400. Like everybody contributed really amazing things into this. Um, the stuff that's in there is wild. It's a bunch of really great pre-made lesson plans, a whole bunch of extra webinars and a bunch of extra goodies so that you can just get off and rolling. It's called the launch pad so that you can just launch, like you can just go and do what you need to do. You can enjoy the conference for free, but if you're ready to step up your game, you've got some other options that you can get in on as well. Please register, link in the description. Yeah, come and hang out with us. We can't wait to meet you. Yeah. Speaking of hanging out with us, there are some other ways in addition to clicking on the link in the description and in addition to refer, uh, registering that you can get connected with people who believe in these ideas. Um, you've got an awesome Facebook group, for example, for this conference. Do you want to kind of talk about that? I do. I do. So as soon as you register, you can get your free ticket. As soon as you register with the link below, you'll see it. And then you'll get, and as soon as you confirm your subscription and all the good stuff and you get your ticket, you'll get an email that says, hang out in our Facebook group. And you will also, inside the Facebook group, there's all these cool extra free trainings and uh, prizes. I'm actually, today, I'm giving prizes. away the first round of prizes. Yeah, there yeah, are yeah. prizes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, Devin. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving away some CI readers that I got my sticky fingers on and some TPT gift cards and gift cards to UB because they have the coolest gel pens I've ever seen and somebody else needs to appreciate them as much as I do. <laughs> so I'm giving away some sweet gift cards in there too. And the best part about the Facebook group though, is that you, you get to enjoy the roll call of just seeing other people who are teaching in the same circumstances as you. Mm -hmm. And that all of the presenters are in there too. So you get to hang out with them. Like there, it's really cool to see like people from, a con I didn't, I asked them to be like, hey, go in and hang out with the people in there. I did not ask them to do this, but they're, they're jumping in and being like, oh my gosh, like I'm from Wisconsin. Like what area are you in? And it's cool to see like how much interaction is happening between everybody. Everybody's so busy right now, but now more than ever, I think we're all craving connection. So that's an exciting place to go. Totally. And I think it's a really, interesting idea, an exciting idea to be able to connect so easily with the speakers at a conference. Um, in the past, I remember being so intimidated when I go to a conference, feeling like, oh, I really connected with that speaker's presentation, but I don't, I don't know if I could like go up to them and talk to them. I, I would feel uh, like I would just miss them, like they would just be running to another, another session or what have you. And I, I'm really excited about this format because now on the other end, as a speaker at this conference, please post and tag me in, in, in this Facebook group post. Like I yeah. want to help even more customize what I'm saying to your specific situation. I would love to talk in the Facebook group. Let's do oh, it. Approach the speakers. They want to hang out with you. They want to talk to teachers. They do. Totally. And other attendees as well. Um, I'm, I can't emphasize enough how this Facebook group and kind of all, all the pieces around the, the conference are really designed intentionally by Devin to help you connect with people who are not just teaching your language, not just teaching the level of your language, but are teaching in a mid-sized public school asynchronously or yep. teaching simultaneously Spanish too. And you've got Google Meet going and Google and 
physical classroom students. Like you can get really targeted and find people who are exactly in your situation. And I think that's part of what I'm excited about that makes this so practical. Yeah, exactly. Now I think a common next question could be Devin, like, look, I'm already so swamped. I can't imagine trying to do any new things right now. I'm just trying to take what I've got, take what worked for me last year or in previous semesters, and I'm just doing it day by day. I can't imagine investing a weekend of my time that would normally be recharge time. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I know that Devin, that one of my, one of the refrains that you say that I love is proficiency can't wait until next year. I can. so I'm curious if you can kind of help us make sense of, yes, I'm really strapped for time and emotional and mental energy and this idea that proficiency cannot wait until next year. So reveal the secret to you. I released a class this summer called Why Proficiency Cannot Wait Until Next Year. You know, I, I teach classes often. And I sent it out to people saying like, hey, come hang out with me for my class. Sweating a little bit, knowing that like this is kind of controversial. My phone was blowing up all night for links to this class. Like it was by far the most requested class that I've ever taught. And it's, it's definitely a long one, but I'll try and like give you like the 30 second, the 30 second version of this. And John and I talked about this a lot too. So when you come to the conference, him and I will talk about this topic as well, because he, he agrees that so I'm not the only one because I'm about to say something controversial. So like, I'm ready. put your big girl pants on because it's about to happen. Hey, we it, do PBL in a pandemic. You're good. Exactly. Like this is why proficiency cannot wait. Even though proficiency style methods and especially like whatever you want to call it, comprehensible input, anything that you want to say, like especially like anything that's PBL or anything that's really student forward, very rich content, best practice, all those things. They often get like, I say they get like, we put proficiency in the corner a lot as world language teachers. And the reason why is not because we don't love it. Like we love baby, but why do we put her in the corner? Because it's hard. And the reason why it's hard is not because the method itself is actually hard because there's a bunch of different ways that you can do it, right? Like you go into every classroom, it's different. It's different. But the reason why it's hard is because it can be pretty emotionally taxing to teach that way. And there's not a lot of, hence the conference, there's not really a clear streamlined pathway or a nice packaged textbook curriculum that makes it easy for us to do it. Like we're trying to work with what we got and save our time and energy because teaching is a very taxing job. But the reason why proficiency can't wait is that it's actually easier. It's easier than all of the things that you're doing right now. And people sometimes want to slap me when I say this, but this is why I have lived it both ways and proficiency is easier. This is why when you teach with proficiency and you cut the fat of jumping down the rabbit holes of trying four different methods at once of working hours and hours, trying to make this one method that doesn't really work for your teaching style work, but you've seen other great teachers do it. And that's what this conference is for, to try and help you figure out what is actually going to work for you. When you have a streamlined way to do it, students engage with it immediately because it is personalized. It is completely based on what they want to talk about, what they want to do, and what they connect with. It is instantly culturally responsive. What AC Quintero and I talk about in our presentation is the fact that novels and stories are the most naturally culturally responsive teaching method that you have. And you can only teach that way if you're teaching through proficiency centered methods. And I bet you that the things that are stressing you out right now in your classroom have to do mainly with the fact that your students are crazy disengaged with what's going on in your classroom. And this is why proficiency cannot wait until next year because it doesn't matter how many new and amazing things that you try in your classroom, they will, it won't click until your students click with you. And your students will click with you when you give them a way to authentically express themselves that empowers them instead of trying to catch every mistake that they're making. That's why proficiency can't wait. That's definitely been my experience with especially using project-based learning in the Spanish classroom. So we've, we're, we were talking about student-centered methods as an umbrella term. Under that umbrella, we've got comprehensible input. We've got project-based learning. We've got all these, all these 
beautiful jargon words that, you know, we could discuss and throw out all day, but it's very much been my experience as well that when you show up ready to help your students communicate and connect in the ways that they're excited to use the language to do, I'm so present on what's happening in the room that any prep, the, the preparation that I could have done before in a less student-centered classroom isn't needed because I'm, I'm just being present and working off of what they give me in the in the Zoom room, as it were. Um, so I, I mean, I connect with that entirely. And if you're interested, of course, you know, we'll put Devin's information down below. There's also a couple videos I've got um, on this channel about project-based learning without any preparation. And I recommend you check out those videos, which will also be linked in the description box below. Devin, I feel like every time we talk, we talk about that video because it's like, I feel like so much value that you bring is helping teachers do these things in a way that's authentic to them and that saves them time. And that's such a crucial thing for me in the way that I see my work as well. And so I, I think we just really connect on that idea, you know. That's true. Great minds. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Okay. So is there anything else that you think uh, the awesome viewers here should know about the conference or about what they can expect? How about you give them the dates one more time as well? So the conference is from January 8th to 10th. And the earlier you register, possibly the more UB gel pens you might get. So you <laughs> it's free to attend and there's ways for you to upgrade if you can't make it for all of the presentations. So make sure that you find a way that works best for you. And we're happy for you to show up as your best self, no matter what that is. Even in your jammies with hot cocoa. Yeah. And some other things. Especially. Cool. <laughs> all right, guys, um, all the information you need. Uh, again, the registration link, um, Devin's contact information, Devin's website, everything you need, the videos we've mentioned, all of that's right below in the video description. And we can't wait to see you in this Facebook group for conference attendees. That's, pra that's practical and comprehensible, the new virtual world language proficiency centered conference. Come and hang out with us. Bye, guys. Bye. Thanks for having me.